Stella's leaving Port Nash this morning and we've got our friend Stella Polaris and it's Senora Del Mar, isn't it? I think it's Senora Del Mar. Yeah, and we're all sailing to Mallorca together. I've just arrived and we've literally just dropped the anchor, haven't we? Jumped in the dinghy with all our washing. I Ben's completely run out of pants about a week ago. <laughs> just funny where we can leave the dinghy, really. Maybe that patch over there. There's a dinghy with an outboard and it's behind this wall. Yeah, we could go over there. Yeah. Tucked out of the way. That's a bit busier than places we've been recently, a bit more touristy, so we'll see. But it's protected anchorage for the night, isn't it? Good way to wait for your washing. You better wash your feet in your place. I'm assuming it's a kid. Not for adults, I mean. You're hoping it's not? <laughs> right, well, more importantly, we need to find the supermarket. <laughs> This morning we have just left Santa Cruz in here and we're sailing up this west corner of the island all the way up and um, we're going to Soya where we'll anchor. Um, there is somewhere about here there's a little restaurant and we're hoping to stop there for lunch and anchor off. Well it's another beautiful day and um, we're making our way around the north shore of Mallorca and it's absolutely spectacular. The, the, the way the mountains rise straight out of water is something to behold. But, um, unfortunately the wind is blowing against us as it quite often does. Um, I guess it only ever blows really uh, one of two ways up and down this coast because it's so sheer you're just going to get it blowing one way along the coast or the other way along the coast depending on where the general winds are blowing around the island. And unfortunately, we've got it against us because we're going sort of northeast, and the general airflow is easterly. So we we don't we would normally wait, but we're running out of time here, and we want to get to Menorca, so we've had to make the choice to go and burn some diesel and go against the grain. But sometimes you've got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. ourselves up because we've realised there's this boat here, there's that boat there, there are two boats out there, I don't know if you can see, and another boat behind the solar panel there, um, all heading for the same port because Soya is the only port sort of protected at all on this northern 
northern coast, from the western coast. So, I just hope they're all going into the marina. Yeah, I hope so too. Doesn't this whole place feel like Tuscany or France? Yeah, um, that sort of thing. Like that. Yeah, like Italian. It's all the kind of shutters, but also the, the stonework and the trees. There's loads of those conifer trees, and everything's really manicured, like sort of yeah. Tuscany's and olive groves and orange trees. It's beautiful. It's got mm. uh, today is what's the day today? Tuesday. Tuesday, and we are going for a walk to Dea, um, which is about three hours each way. I think so. Yeah. Um, Packed a packed lunch, got my bum bag on, <laughs> ready for a hike. <laughs> ben thinks I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's very close today, so there's, uh, there's a lot of thunder in the air. But um, this is the pass from Soya to uh, Dea. And we've got our Swedish friends joining us from Levy with their two dogs, Hila and Ruska. <laughs> mission it's 10 o'clock at night we've had to wait till it gets dark and um, we went and got a couple of cans of petrol at the fuel stop today and asked if they do water and normally when you fill up and pay for a bit of fuel they'll sort of let you have some water but they don't have any water there um, so we're gonna take our jerry cans over and go and steal some from the pontoon in the <laughs> marina so we hopefully won't get caught you <laughs> literally would not believe Look at the state of us. This is from rain. Oh Look, my God. the storm we've just been in. I've never felt rain like it. It's been totally crazy. <laughs> and oh my God, I can't. I can't think. That was like someone just pouring buckets and buckets and buckets of water. <laughs> Today we are off to. Um, walk the Torrent de Parish, I think it's called. Um, so it's about an hour up the coast. Um, and it's basically a canyon um, that, a river canyon, sorry, that runs dry. So yeah, it should be a really nice day, but there's no wind, so we're having to motor there, but it's only an hour, so not so bad. There's some beautiful cloud formations. So amazing up there. Oh, 
Lots of squeeze. Collecting rainwater for our tanks. In <laughs> his best outfit. It's less to get wet, isn't it? <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, the weather is shit, and we've got the heating on. Watching a film. You might have a snooze. I'm going to go straight to sleep. <laughs> I'm going I'm to wake up and the sun will be shining. And we can sail to Menorca mm, with no swell. No swell and lots of nice wind. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so it rained so much last night, um, the dinghy's a, a little full. And um, I'm just going to take a fair bit of bailing before we can get ourselves in there. <laughs> We're just rounding the most northeastern point of Mallorca. We're neck and neck. Where, where are you heading for? Palenza. Oh, the anchorage in Palenza, yeah? Okay. Yeah, we'll see you in there, I expect. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, I've just had the worst night's sleep in this car. Um, basically, it's not very well protected from the easterly swell. So the swell is coming in and just bouncing off the rocks and hitting us again so we get like a double, double swell. Just spotted this really interesting boat with an amazing rig on it. I guess it's a, it's a schooner rig. But then he's also got um, like booms for squ like a square rigger going downwind. I've never seen anything like that before.
in the end today that um, it wasn't really worth the fuel to motor across when it was so lumpy and uncomfortable and in your face sort of weather. So we have turned around and come back and we're anchored um, just outside the harbour of Palenza. Quite a lot of boats here. Um, the pilot book says it's all late tomorrow and it's forbidden to anchor. However, our friends the other day told us that they've got friends who have been anchored here for ages and not moved on. So we've come here and there are about, what, 30 boats? 30 maybe? All anchored. It's all fine. Um, wind's calming down a bit. It was about 15 to 20 knots and um, our anchor's stuck on a rock at the moment. So we're too tired to move it. So we're going to just maybe have a couple of hours sleep after last night being such a horrible rolly night. So maybe we'll deal with it when we're feeling a bit more like it. Hey. Um, it's a good place to be, I think. There's apparently um, a water tap at Hotel Diana that has a little space for a dinghy to stop as well. So that's quite useful. We're going to fill up some kegs tonight. Um, and then we're going to hire a motorbike, I think, and explore all the lovely mountains that are around here. There's Ben. Our friends on the next boat have lent us their little dinghy. Have to go. Yeah, I wait till it calms down a bit before I um, crash into him. It's just it's just like a little boy. It's so cool. You enchant me even when you're not around. How's your straw? Strawberry flavoured. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Better than the plastic one that goes in the bin. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Alright, chill out. Aye, aye, aye. Um. So we're on our way to Menorca, um, it's, well, for me, this is the worst conditions that make me feel sick. So, quite a few rolly waves, we're going into the swell, we're going into the wind, um, pretty much dead into the wind, and you might ask why are we actually going, if that's the case, why do we have to motor into the wind, we should be sailing. Um, and the reason is because we've been waiting for, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks for wind. And because we're in the Med and the islands, it's all um, easterlies at the moment. It generally tends to be east, easterlies or westerlies prevailing. And we've had easterlies for ages. So um, we need to be turning around and heading back out the Med within uh, like a week or so. And if we don't go now, we're not going to see any of Menorca. So we've made the decision today to go. We're less than halfway. Um, 
I've already had to be asleep for half an hour because I've started feeling sick. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have some lunch whilst I'm feeling alright. And then I'm probably going to end up going back to bed again. At last, the wind has um, come round the sailing angle and we've managed to turn the engine off and the swell's dropped off and Nikki's feeling a bit better because she's making a cup of tea. Better. Yeah, the worst thing about it is it's not like the queasiness comes at the last minute. The rest of the time it's just like... I don't know, I can't even explain the feeling, like, a he bit headachey, really tired, my mood just goes right down, um, I get acid, like, indigestion, acid reflux, and my body just feels like it's kind of, like, lost all its gravity and it's all a bit weird. I, don't, I can't even explain it, it's horrible, absolutely horrible, and I, I get it only when we're going into the waves. And it really pisses me off, because I lose, like, all these hours just to lose a day just doing nothing but lying down. I feel fine if I lie down. That's sailing. It's really boring. After a, just had a brief detour down towards the point here, because um, we actually wanted to go to some of the colours down here, a bit more interesting. Um, but there's quite a strong southeasterly swell still there, uh, which meant that probably there'll be a lot of slop in those um, anchorages and they won't be very comfortable. So we're going back to Santandria, which is this little one here. It's not very wide. Um, and I think we're going to have to try and take a line ashore from reading uh, like the book and stuff on it. But um, hopefully it'll give us a lot of shelter. because he got cold so I thought he might be a bit more cheerful if he had a tiara on. Are you feeling better yet? No. Look at me. No. Look at me and smile. Go on. Sleep.